Oh. <laughs> oh, rural Zimbabwe shooting a little shot of this fantastic resurrection plant, Mufandichi Muka Marathamnus flabellifolia, and I am surrounded by the sights and sounds of rural Africa. I got a herd of cows walking past me, there's some dogs that are being used to herd the cows. Oh, that was one of the cows just getting whacked on the backside. But hey, that's all part of the vibe. How's it guys, I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter and this is another one in my ongoing series on crops of the future for Zimbabwe. This plant is the resurrection plant, an utterly, utterly remarkable plant. It's a geophyte. So you can see what that means. It means that it lives on rock and it is quite extraordinary. This is bare rock I'm sitting on. This is a mountain in Murewa in rural Zimbabwe called Dombo Rembudzi, which means uh, goat mountain, although it's more uh, dominated by cattle at the moment. And uh, you can see it's bare rock and here is this little uh, bit of humus and growing out of that is this resurrection plant. Now, why is it called resurrection? Well, because of its ability to apparently desiccate itself completely when there's no moisture and then come straight back to life with a little bit of moisture. And I'm sitting here between two plants at the same time of year that are separated by one meter, one of whom is totally dry and this one over here is green and alive. And if I just put a little bit of water on this, they would also come back to life. Uh, famously, this plant, kids take them home they just take a twig like this put it in a glass of water and watch it overnight and by the next morning it will be bright again so why do I think this is such an important plant well it has a long history of traditional medicinal use uh, mostly to do actually with the lungs and respiratory ailments it is traditionally the leaves are smoked and the smoke is inhaled to treat respiratory problems uh, it's also consumed widely consumed as a herbal medicinal tea uh, it's also used in a lot of ri ritual and uh, kind of magical uses. Uh, really remarkable plant and of course you can understand that this ability to die and come back to life uh, does evoke all kinds of uh, imagery uh, amongst spiritualists. I'm not going to go into detail on the phytochemistry of this plant because it's quite complex and I've already done that in other videos but just to say that there are a lot of uh, compounds in this, particularly around the phytosterols, that uh, have very remarkable properties. And of course, it's that ability to desiccate and come back to life. And in fact, researchers in South Africa have been looking at the specific, trying to identify the specific genes that are responsible for that and seeing if they couldn't be put into other food crops to make them more drought tolerant. But it's also really, really interesting for the cosmetics industry because it works at a cellular level in terms of protecting cells. And again, I'm not going to go into too much detail here. I've done that in other videos, but there's a lot of interest from the cosmetics industry in this plant. A few uh, products that have already been patented internationally uh, using Myrothamnus as the basis. And I'm absolutely certain that there's going to be very considerable interest in the future. The main challenge, of course, is that nobody grows it in a field it's all wild harvested and while there is plenty of it uh, if everyone was harvesting it there might be an issue so the number one challenge to turn this into a crop for the future is to figure out how to grow it in a field that's not easy but it's certainly got to be possible and if we could do that and we can have an unlimited supply it's a fantastic tasting product delicious in a herbal tea and all sorts of medicinal and uh, pharmaceutical and cosmetic applications and it's only found in this little part of southern Africa, Zimbabwe, a little bit in Malawi, Mozambique, Botswana, South Africa. So it's very much confined to this area and it is an utterly, utterly extraordinary plant. So guys, that's one of my tips for a crop for the future. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, there's plenty more on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Instagram, AfricanPlantHunter.com. Just hit the subscribe button and you'll never go without any of my new releases. There's plenty more to come. I'm going to go check out some other plants. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.